welcome to Daddy Jack's Coldwater Blues here. So, yesterday, my friend Harley was up in the hospital, you know, and uh, I went to visit him and, at l and Hospital here, and, and uh, boy, he said, man, I, I'd kill for some of that uh, ravioli and uh, some, for some, uh, some garlic bread. So I said, okay, no problem. So, probably closed, we came down here and made a garlic bread. I said, so good. And uh, I think I came up with a little bit, maybe a different twist. Maybe not, but uh, I said, you know what? I don't see many garlic bread recipes up there, so I'm gonna do a garlic bread recipe today with Glenn. So this is from uh, the London Bakery, the semolina. It's got some nice semolina uh, on the crust of it. It's really excellent. And uh, so what I do is I add some, uh, Plenty of garlic, that's the key to it. And butter. Hey Steve, you got me just a little bit of oregano? Okay, so I want I want to cook the garlic a little bit in here, but I kind of want to also not 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 do the butter where it separates. So just on a low on a low flame here. Then what I'll do is I'll add some more butter in afterwards. But just get a little, little uh, a good amount of butter, and also I'm going to use some uh, a little bit of granulated also. I don't want to make a base. There's a little bit more butter now. See where it's not separating out, it's holding together. It's almost like a garlic sauce when you put that last bit of butter in there. A lot of times I used to whip it up. I used to whip it up in the cuisine art food processor, but here this comes out better because you know you cook the garlic a little bit, releases the flavor. It's a parmesan. A lot of parmesan. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put it under the broiler, get it get it toasted up a little bit. And I'm gonna do it on one side so the bottom stays nice and soft. I'm gonna brown it up under the broiler for a little bit. Be right back. All right, so here we go. We got a little bit of brown on it. So then I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of oregano. Just a little bit. One restaurant in Texas, uh, it was Nero's. They used to make a, a love for garlic bread, they called it. And, uh, but, you know, with a small amount, I just chopped, I just chopped the, the sun-dries on there. But they used to grind them up with the butter. 
so you kind of get a, a pink. You can do that at home. You can get a pink, a pink water. And then uh, just a little bit of put the herbs on right at the end. A little uh, parsley. Got to have a little bit more cheese. Under there, and it's kind of a kind of a low broil. I, I don't know if you can adjust the broiler at home. We can, you know, keep a distance, keep it from a distance. So just another minute or two, we'll be ready. All right, what do you think? How's that looking? Get uh, I love the smell of it. Ooh. I put a little bit with sun-dried tomato. You just uh, instead of baking it in the oven, you get a little more uh, softer texture. So you can do all kinds of, uh, you know, uh, French bread pizza, Italian bread pizza. You can put whatever you want on here, sausage. Try it out. Alright. I'm gonna go for one of those. Plenty of garlic. Uh, <laughs> right? That's awesome. But, that's done. Mm -hmm. I kind of came up with a new, like, new recipe, but I kind of slowly cook it with the butter in the skillet. Uh, but I don't want to separate the butter, but also cook because. I used to just make quick cut it up with my in a Cuisinart yep. with the with the uh, the garlic with the butter. Wow, that's good. You like it with the sun dried? I do. Wow, that's really good. Let's try some without the sun dried. Yeah. So your texture on the bottom <laughs> soft. Good. It's soft. Don't, don't cut your gums. You got know, some of that garlic bread, so the, the crusty bread. That's really mm. good. That will cure everything. Oh, it says cure all evils. Cure all evils. That's what I got. Yep. And it's Daddy Jack's good with the blues.